Okay, this video is going to look at one of your homework problems, PR 613. And so to do that, I've taken the information from Connect and put it into Excel. I'm going to read from this uh, given piece of information first. It says Tactile Incorporated uses a joint production process to produce two bonding agents, hold tight and tie a lock. It says joint costs are 30,000 per batch. The joint production process produces 40,000 pounds of hold tight, which can be sold for $1.50 per pound, and 60,000 pounds of tile lock, which can be sold for $2 per pound. Hold tight can be processed further into 30,000 pounds of hold tight plus at a cost of $20,000, and hold tight plus sells for $2.50. Tile lock can be processed further to produce 50,000 pounds of tile lock plus at a cost of $40,000, and it sells for $4 per pound. Tactiles uses the gross margin method to allocate joint costs. Okay, well, what they're wanting us to do is figure out whether or not we should process further each one of these, calculate the company's gross margin, and then determine what joint costs should be allocated to each one of the products. Okay, so to do that, we need to do quite a few calculations here. I'm going to make us a column, a few columns here. So I'm going to start with hold tight, and then we've got tile lock. Okay, I'm going to have the original uh, revenue that we can generate from each one of these. Uh, then I'm going to have what the revenue is if we process it further. Uh, and then I'm going to have uh, what the additional revenue would be, the marginal revenue, if we process it further. Okay, let's start there. And then I think one more thing we should probably add in then is the extra cost to process further. So let's say additional cost. Okay, let's start there. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so original one for hold tight. Hold tight, it says joint production process produces 40,000 pounds of hold tight, which can be sold for $1.50. So 40,000 pounds times $1.50. Okay, so that's our first amount we have here, total revenue. Okay, then it says tile lock is 60,000 pounds at $2. So we'll say $2. So we got 120,000 here. Okay, now what if we process it further? Hold tight can be processed further to produce 30,000 pounds of hold tight plus. Okay, so 30,000 pounds times, make sure I'm 30,000, yeah. Okay, so 30,000, um, which we sold for $2.50, okay? And it's cost, it also gives us a cost here. It says hold tight further at cost of $20,000. So I'm gonna put $20,000 here. And I'm just, I'm pulling all that information from right up here at the top. If you can see that, um, so this is $20,000 is additional, whoops, additional cost here. Okay, so then the tile lock can be processed further into 50,000 pounds, so we'll say 50,000 pounds. And it tells us $4 a pound is what it sells for them. So we've got that there. And then the additional cost it tells us for the tile lock plus is gonna be 40,000 acceptable costs. To amount here. So let's calculate the additional amount of revenue that's generated if we process further. So we'll have an extra 15,000, it looks like here. And we're going to have an extra 80,000, it looks like here. Okay, so if our additional revenue exceeds our additional cost, then logic dictates that we would process it further. Um, so it looks like tile lock, we're gonna process further into tile lock plus, but we would not do that with hold tight. So that answers our first two questions. Hold tight should be processed as is, um, meaning we stop at the um, split off point. And then for the tile lock plus, we're going to process further. Okay, that answers our first two questions. Now we need the company's gross margins. So this is a company-wide gross margin and you, in order to use the gross margin method to allocate out joint costs. So let's do this again. We'll do gross margin. That's the calculation we're going to do. We're going to do company-wide. Then I'm going to do hold tight. And I'm going to do tile lock. Okay, so first thing I need to do is take my total amount of revenue that we're going to create. So total revenue that we're going to have, we're going to use the original um, hold tight because we're stopping at the split off point there. But we're going to use the process further, the hold tight plus uh, for the, or I, sh I should say the tile lock plus for the tile lock here. Okay, so that gives us a total of 260,000. Now we want our joint costs. Joint costs, they tell us we're 30,000. I'm looking up right up here uh, at this top uh, given information. It says joint costs are 30,000 per batch. 
So I'm putting 30,000 here. Then we need our separable costs. Now we only process one further, that's gonna be this tile lock one right here. So I'm 40,000 here. So I'm just gonna set that equal to this. Okay, so our total gross profit that we're calculating here, we'll say our revenue minus the sum of our expenses or costs here. So you get a total of 190,000. Now to calculate the gross margin or gross profit percentage, we will take our gross profit and we're gonna divide by our total amount of revenue that we have here. So that'll give us a total amount that we have here. I'll drag that out just a little bit. And so that gives us our total company's gross margin percentage. So I'm gonna set that equal to this. Okay, now to allocate out the joint cost to hold tight and to tile lock plus really is what it is. So I'll put a plus here since that's the one we're gonna use. Okay. To do that, we need to calculate what the gross profit should be for each one of these using the company-wide gross margin. So what we're going to do is take the hold tight revenue that we have here. Uh, joint costs we don't know yet. Let's so leave that blank and move on to separable costs are just going to be zero because we're not processing this further. Now to calculate the gross profit, let me draw a line here. I just want that formatting to know that that's a calculation. I'll draw the same thing here and same thing here. Okay, so to calculate the gross profit, what we're gonna do is set this equal to the company-wide margin that we have here. So we're gonna multiply that out like that, okay? Now, for tile lock, we're gonna use the process further revenue because we're doing tile lock plus because it was more beneficial to do so, more uh, profitable to do so. So we'll set that equal to this. Joint cost, we don't know yet. That's why we're doing this calculation. Separable cost, we do know. It's the additional cost to process further here. We can calculate the gross profit by taking our total revenue and multiplying out by our gross margin that we have for company-wide. And so we get the amount here that we want for this. Okay, so now what we need to do is plug, we need to back into our joint cost to make this gross profit work. So what we're gonna do is take our revenue minus our gross profit here, and that means that we'd subtract out these joint costs from this revenue to get this gross profit. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. We'll take our revenue minus our gross profit here and then subtract out our separable cost because we have that here too. And so what that says is 200,000 minus our joint cost here minus our separable cost here gets us our gross profit here, which we set to equal the company-wide gross profit. So now we can finally answer these questions. How much should we allocate to hold tight? Uh, how much of the joint cost should we allocate to hold tight uh, using the gross margin method? Uh, we will set that equal to our joint costs here. And then how much should we do for the tile lock, which is actually going to be the tile lock plus, we'll set that equal to this piece here. And then as a check figure, just to make sure we're allocating out the right amount, let's sum these real quick. Make sure they equal 30,000 because that was the total amount of joint costs that we had to allocate out. And it does. So we are now done with this problem. I'm going to stop the share and stop the video.